tiny house, Prepper. Live simple, live free. Well, hey everybody, I'm Bill. And I'm Elizabeth with Tiny House Prepper. Live simple. Live free. Wow, have we got a lot to tell you guys. Yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah. It, Go ahead. Okay, it, it kind of just centers around Pop, around Bill's dad. Yeah. Um, he's 88 and a half, and um, he's been living in his own little apartment in an area not too far from us, and we keep an eye on him, and, you know, uh, we took him out for Thanksgiving, you know, and, and uh, to a buffet, and, and um, we try to spend time with him and help him keep, take care of things. We're usually but, with him at least once a week, sometimes more. Yeah, and I take care <clears throat> of all of his doctor's appointments and mm -hmm. all, all that kind of stuff, um, you know, official government stuff and all that kind of thing. Um, but I've just been feeling some concern now for a while. Um, he's just getting a lot older, um, keeping track of his medications. Um, he just, he's, he's doing well, but he's getting a little more forgetful. Um, and, um, I've noticed him sometimes he'll get something that he needs and he goes back out and gets it again. Nothing really dangerous or, yeah. you know, really bad, but we've just been kind of more and more concerned about him being able to really live on his own. He does still drive. Mm -hmm. Just very carefully during the day, so, he's but, so careful. <clears throat> sometimes he'll forget to take his meds or he'll take them twice because he forgot he already took them. Mm -hmm. That sort of thing. Yeah. <clears throat> he's been a, a little bit vulnerable to people, um, you know, taking money from him, uh, which we've tried to keep an eye on. Right. Uh, but it's a concern, you know. And um, we really do live in 250 square feet. And we don't know uh, how in the world we could ever include him here um, we really feel that it's time for him to move in with us or time for him to no longer be alone right and in this little place we don't know how to do that right we do not want him to have to end up in some kind of a situation where it's a you know a care home or something like that i think right. he would be pretty really unhappy about that and um so we you know we're more than happy just to have him with us um but we we cannot do it here just, we, we can't do it in this house so you know we've been looking at other options and looking around and do we want to rent something i hate the thought of that because all the rent is you know going down the tubes and you know well it, <clears throat> and it's expensive it's yeah it is it's expensive and um we've looked you know to to rent a place or to buy another house um it, it's not only expensive but we still just, you know, we're in our 60s, and we still just really feel strongly that we do not want to find ourselves um, in a lot of debt at this point in our life. Right. It's, <clears throat> that whole live simple, live free thing that we talk about, a lot of that has been around the fact that we've been very careful to stay, like, out of debt and try to keep our own expenses as reasonable and, and minimal as we can. Right. But he still needs help. He right, still needs right, us absolutely. to help him. So, what are we going to do about it? Yeah. <clears throat> the last time that we were visiting our son Barry down in Virginia, he showed us a house that he had just bought as a rental property. And it had it was a foreclosure and it didn't sell and it came up on auction and he grabbed it at an incredible price. Yeah. Yeah. He's really smart with right. stuff like that. And so it's, this is not his, his hoarder house that he's doing his no. renovation on. This is another one. It's different. And so it's, he, it's much smaller. He showed us the house, and it's uh, it, he had renters in there. And then he looked at us, and he said, you know, I bought that house for you guys. It still makes me cry. <laughs> I mean, he's not giving it to us. No, we, you know, no, he can't do that. He can't do that. But <clears throat> he got an incredible deal on it. So we are going to be buying that house from him for what he paid for it. So, long story short, we're going to be moving to Virginia. Um, and we're moving into a house that is about 900 square feet. It's it's not a tiny house, but it is a small house. Yeah. 900 square foot ranch with three bedrooms, enough room for my dad to be with us, and then the third bedroom will become storage for us instead of that big, huge shed that we've got. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we're hoping to have at least a, a good <coughs> utility shed down there for bicycles right. and lawnmowers but, right right um yeah that we're thankful it has that one bedroom just for some basic 
storage. So, things, so obviously this is a major change for us. We've been in this little tiny house, RV tiny house for going uh -huh. on going on five it's years. It's going to be five years before too much longer. We have been yeah. very happy here. Yes. Basically, this was a safety net for us when after the crash we lost everything and we landed here and we praise God for that. Yeah, we've really loved it. It has really worked for and us. And we really thought that this was our forever home. Yeah. We really did. Yeah. But, you know, things change. Season, seasons of your life, things change. And Dad needs help, so this is what we're going to do. Well, and you know, when, when Barry said he got the place, you know, kind of for us, um, even at that point, um, you know, when he first mentioned it, he was saying that he knows that as we get older, that the really harsh winters here, um, just a lot of things are going to get harder and harder. Um, and so I, I appreciated that, you know. Um, it's going to be farther south. Right. And so there are some good good things about that. So there's still winter there, but it's not as harsh as it is here. It's usually right. 10 or 15 degrees warmer down there yeah. year round. Yeah. So when we have, you know, zero degrees here, they've got 15 degrees down there. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Which can make a difference. <laughs> it know? makes a big so, difference, right. Um, so how are we going to do this? How are right. we going to, going to pay for this? Well, because we are buying it from him. Yeah, we we can't put him in a situation. Yeah, we got to <laughs> well, we have to buy it from him. For one thing, you know, we've been talking a while now about live simple, live free, and we live. How do we live simple? What does that mean? It means we we don't buy things that we don't need, and we stay completely out of debt, and then that gives us the freedom to be able to enjoy life and do things that we want without being tied down and burdened with debt. That also, because we're not paying mortgage payments and car payments and all that. Yeah. That gives us the ability to save, which we have been doing for quite a while. Yeah. So by taking all of our savings and by taking uh, what we're getting for selling this house, um, and we are not, by the way, going to be giving any information about the buyer. But Yeah, no. Uh, um, we want to pr <clears throat> really protect their privacy. Right. But by taking our savings and the proceeds from this house and put it down on the house that he bought for us because he's got such a great deal we're going to be able to get into it with owing just a very little bit. Right. Which we will concentrate on paying off very as quickly. As quickly as we can and get that paid off so that we are once again then, you know, um, out of debt. You know, owing right. only your basic taxes and insurance and just stuff like that. Right. And the amazing thing is once the house is paid for, which is going to happen pretty quickly, it actually costs us less per month to live in that house. Than it does to live here. I know, it's just it's just different circumstances down there, and um, yeah, it's um. The uh, <laughs> the taxes are a little higher, but not a whole lot mm -mm, higher. Very similar. And we get rid of the uh, the POA dues, and we get rid of the uh, sewer bill that we have here, and it actually is less to lo live there than it is here. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I'm sure that's a real blow for many of you because we change. we are tiny house prepper, you know. Yeah. And all of a sudden, we're not going to live tiny anymore. Now, nothing else is going to be changing in our channel. Absolutely. Absolutely Except not. for the fact that we don't live tiny. We live small. Right. <laughs> but we don't know. Um, everything else is going to be the same. It's just that we needed somewhere that we would have room for his dad. And so it's going to be a small house instead of our cute little tiny place. Right. Yeah. So we'll still be doing travel videos. We'll still be doing prepping videos. I'll still be doing videos about the Grand Solar Minimum. Oh, I'm, I'm going to try to do cooking. I'm going to try to do more quilting. Yeah. Try to just share kind of what's going on. And also, um, in terms of prepping, this is actually going to be really better. Absolutely. Um, yeah. <laughs> this house, believe it or not, um, I'm so proud of our son. He's just... <laughs> anyway, this house is on 1.3 acres. And most of it is open yard, and most of it's in the backyard where it's hidden from the road. So, so we're, guess what we're going to do? Yeah, yeah. We are going to start gardening. Something yeah. that we've wanted to do for a while, but we just simply didn't have the room here on this tiny little property we live on now. So this is going to allow us to build, to put it in as much garden as we want, and we're really excited about right. that. And also, you know, I am on a very special <laughs> diet, <laughs> um, and I'm going to stick to that. Um, it, I think it really is helping. And um, so there's things that we really... It doesn't work out for us even to be able to get from Thrive Life, which I would like to be able to have. Things that they don't carry. That they don't carry. For, for good reasons, it doesn't work for them to, to use it, that I'll be able to grow. Right. And um, so um, I'm I'm very excited about that. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, it's we're going to have probably more...
prepping stuff in a way. Um, and more gardening stuff. Gardening, yeah. As we learn. As, also, as we learn, right. Also, Barry and Molly have been gardening for years, and we're going to be right there with them. And so uh, we're going to be able to learn an awful lot from them. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. They're, they're very good at the whole thing with gardening and, mm -hmm. and growing things really healthy and how, how, um, how to grow in that environment. Right. Uh, you know, what you have to watch for and what you have to do. So I feel very blessed by that because it's something they've been doing. And so, um, yeah, I'm, I think that the only thing that's going to be different really with our channel um, is that we're just not going to be able to say that we live in a tiny house. We're certainly not going to move a bunch of stuff. I mean, I don't want to fill out and suddenly become burdened with a lot of, of, of stuff again. Right. I'd really just like for us to keep it still as simple as we can. I do have to admit that the thought of having a table <laughs> and a little bit of space on walls to hang pictures is right. kind of nice. Right. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, you know, we will no longer be living tiny, right? which sort of puts a kink in our name, Tiny House Prepper. Yeah, we're still preppers, so, but yeah. You know, that's why I, uh, two months ago, maybe six weeks ago, something like that, we put out a video talking about that we were thinking about changing our name to Live Simple, Live Free. We didn't want to tell you about this yet because we didn't know if it was going to happen. We've only found out just within the past oh yeah, two weeks that, that, yeah, that, that, it's, it's, that it's, it's happening. That it's for sure. So we right. didn't want to make any kind of announcement about something that we didn't know if it was going to happen. But right. we did want to get your opinion on it. So Absolutely. So we talked about that and we did the video, you know, and actually probably 90% of you fully supported the name change to Live Simple, Live Free. Some of you said... That it really sounded great. There were only a few of you who said, no, don't change it. Tiny House Prepper is a good name. Well, now you know why we were thinking about right, changing it. Right. And, and some people that said, no, keep your name. You know, you guys live in a tiny house. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's really important to us that there's nothing that seems like clickbait to people. Absolutely. And we yep. certainly do not want yep. to call ourselves Tiny House Prepper if at any point that's not how we're living anymore. Um, and so, somehow, small but not tiny house prepper just doesn't work quite as well. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of people said, well, I, you know, if someone searches for you, um, they're not going to be able to find you because you don't have the same name. Or if they're searching for a tiny house, they're not going to be able to find you because of the name. Well, for, for one thing, we don't live in a tiny house, or we won't anymore after we make the move. But the other is, if you search tiny house, you're not only going to get channels, but you're going to get every video that has tiny house in it. So... Any previous video that we have that says tiny house in the name or in the keywords that I put in, it'll still come up in the search. Absolutely. People can still find us with that. And yes. although our name no longer says prepping, same thing. If somebody puts in, you know, prepping or prepper or prepared or anything like that, the videos will still come up based on the name of the video and the description and, and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So I don't really think that's an issue. Also, probably 80% of the people that find us find us through suggested videos, not through YouTube searches. Yeah, yeah. So. It just seems to be the way the statistics work out. Yeah, so um, we, we know we also, even at the time that we were first doing that video talking about maybe using Live Simple, Live Free, um, we, even at that time we felt like that we were broadening out in our channel to so many other things besides just being in a tiny house and what that involved and uh, just prepping. And so we feel like that live simple, live free is kind of our, it's, it feels like such a good motto for us. And it's kind of a larger umbrella term right. for the things that we might want to be putting in our channel. Yep. And so um, I think I think it's a good name for us. And I think it's a, an appropriate name for us. And we still want to live that way. Like I said, financially, we're going to do our very best to even get out from under this little bit of a mortgage as quickly as we can. Um, we still want to keep our life as unencumbered as we can and, um, you know, share adventures that maybe we can go on. And I don't know, I, I still think that it's going to represent as much as possible who we are. Right. Yeah. Right. So there it is. I know we've hit you with a lot. <laughs> yeah. We're moving into a house. We'll no longer be tiny and we're changing our name to Live Simple, Live Free. Um, the, for the house, we will be 
like I said, we'll be here and there for the next couple of months back and forth. A lot, lot of stuff that has to be taken <clears throat> care of in but, both uh, places. <laughs> in an upcoming video, very possibly the next video, we will give you a tour of the house, which we took possession of about a week and a half ago. Yeah. So yeah. we've been working down there and then coming back up here and back and forth. But we'll, we'll show you the house and then, you know, some other things about that too. Now, I know our animation has been pretty distinctive. Um, right. As far as I know, we are the only channel on YouTube who has the, the old school type drawn animation like Mickey Mouse originally. Everybody else, <laughs> if they have animation, it's computer generated. Right. So it makes us very unique. <laughs> it was a lot of work. Yeah. Because every single one of those was an individual drawing. That she did. That I, Yeah, that I did. And then our son helped us to be able to know how to flow that all together into right. an animation. <clears throat> He's really good at that kind of stuff. Um, and so... Uh, we, we obviously won't really be able to use that one once we officially have this name change. But I'm going to come up with at least a drawing that we'll have that we can use. And then, my goodness, as soon as I can manage it, I do want to get another animation done that will be for Live Simple, Live Free. Right. And along the very same style as much as I possibly can. Um, we're hoping to still have the meows and the squeaks and just all that stuff in it. But it will be more appropriate for our Live Simple, Live Free. And the same theme music. Oh, yes. Oh, no, we're not changing the theme music, yeah. nothing like that. The channel really is going to remain very much the same. We're just going to be, I'll have a different name, and um, it'll be formally Tiny House Prepper. <laughs> and, um, you know, we won't be, at some point, when we can finally get this move all done, then we won't be actually living here anymore. And uh, I'm, you know, I'm excited. I feel like that God's in this. I feel like it's going to be wonderful to be able to take care of Pop. Um, but I am going to miss this old place. Yeah, me too. I, I really just, am. It has been just a great little home for us, so I'm. It's going to feel funny, you know. But like Bill said, life has seasons, and um, you know we just saw Frozen too, <laughs> and there is a song in there and a kind of a theme that goes throughout the movie that I thought was wonderful and powerful, and it just said that when you don't know what to do, just do the next right thing. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're not sure what's going to happen in life, just do the next right thing, and we know in our heart that the next right thing is to make sure we can take care of his dad. Yep. And so, oh, that for with Barry's help and with how God's working this out, I think it's going to be very possible. Mm -hmm. so, so there are many positive things about this. The main thing, of course, is to be able to help my dad and have him li live with us. But also, you know, with the Grand Solar Minimum coming up, <laughs> to be able to live further south where the winters won't be quite as harsh and where hopefully we'll have a little bit a longer growing season than we do here and also we've got plenty of room to to grow a garden and we're going to be very close to our son which we haven't been for many years yeah and that, the grandkids that, and all that yeah we haven't been um been able to be very close to them for a long time so right. <clears throat> in that way um this is a kind of an exciting change especially for grandma here right. <laughs> yep. yeah so all righty well we just i wanted to let you guys know and um yeah, we'll, we'll try to take you along, you know, in this process um, as much as we possibly can. Yeah. So. Okay, well. guys. Thanks so much for for watching and thank you for sticking with us and supporting us. And we really love you guys. Yeah, it's, it's family. Yeah. And every single time we've ever met a subscriber, it has been such a joy. Absolutely. We are very thankful for you and for for just being able to uh, be a part of your, your lives and for you. Um, you to feel like part of ours. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so and I know okay. Christmas is coming up pretty yeah. soon when this video goes out. So like first time I've worn my new Christmas sweater. <laughs> anyway, have a blessed, wonderful Christmas. I just hope it's going to be great for you guys. So, so our new name, Live Simple, Live Free. Thanks for watching. All right. You be blessed. All right. Love you guys. And we'll be back soon. Okay.